Let's look at absolute value, inequalities, and greater than. Or greater than and equal. And so what we're going to look at here is suppose we have the absolute value of x is bigger than 3. And so we want to know when the absolute value is bigger than 3. And because this is a greater than, we're going to look at this as a great or than, so that we can remember when we see a greater than sign and absolute value, we're going to use a greater than. And so again, we get the same thing. Copy one down without the absolute value. Switch the sign on the number and change the inequality for the other. But this time, we're going to connect it by an or. And so this goes from 3 to infinity, and this one goes from minus infinity to minus 3. And all we need to do is reorder this from smallest to biggest, and we get our answer. So again, the general absolute value rules apply. We change it to two inequalities. We change the sign on one of them, and then we look at our result after. Now, of course, sometimes things get a little bit more complicated, like the following. And so we start by writing our two pieces, and then we just solve them both. And remember that we're solving an or problem. So we'll subtract 5 from both sides on the first one. 2x is greater than or equal to 2. Divide by 2, and we get x is greater than or equal to 1, or 1 to infinity. For our other side, we're still going to subtract 5 as our first step. But now we get 2x is less than or equal to minus 12. We still divide by 2. And we get x is less than or equal to minus 6, or minus infinity to minus 6 with a square bracket. And again, notice that there's no overlap between these. So our answer is just the combination from smallest to biggest because of the or word. As one final example, suppose we have 3x minus 2 is greater than 10. So again, we're going to break this down into two ors, where we keep the part the same, and we change the number on our sign. We then add 2 to both sides, so 3x is bigger than 12, divide by 3, and get x is bigger than 4, or 4 to infinity. When we add 2 to the our second equation, Inequality, though, we get 3x is less than minus 8. Divide by 3, and x is less than minus 8 thirds, or minus infinity to minus 8 over 3. Again, without any overlap, this just becomes minus infinity to minus 8 thirds, union for 2 infinity.